I'm a 53-year-old man, and the cool thing about being a 53-year-old man is it makes me feel good when nobody believes me. <laughs> no way, dude, get out of here. I never would have guessed you're a man. <laughs> Thank you for your cruel and hurtful laughter. <laughs> I'm at the age where young people have started telling me that I look great for my age. You look great for your age. Gee, thanks, you couldn't have just left it at you look great. <laughs> when a young person tells you that you look great for your age, what they're really trying to say is, uh, I want to give you a compliment, but I don't want you to get any ideas because you're old and that would be gross. <laughs> I admire millennials because they are so focused, so filled with inspiration and motivation, hopes and dreams for the future. The older I get, the less ambitious I become. When I turned 30, I was like, I want to be rich. But then I turned 40 and I was like, I want to be comfortable. <laughs> then I turned 50 and I was like, I want to be in bed by 9.30. <laughs> I often find myself working alongside millennials and uh, millennials use a phrase that I can't stand. No worries. No worries, dude, we'll take care of it. No worries. <laughs> of course you have no worries, you're 22. <laughs> I'm 53, I have lots of worries. At 22, you can eat one slice of cheese and know you're gonna go to the bathroom sometime over the next three months. <laughs> but one slice of Velveeta at 53 and I'm backed up like I-15 in rush hour. <laughs> you know how I can tell I'm getting older? I was at a bar slash restaurant recently and I saw a table of college kids order a round of Jello shots and my first thought was, mmm, I love a bowl of Jello. <laughs> The older I get, the bigger my sweet tooth becomes. I can eat an entire bag of Hershey miniatures in one sitting. You have not experienced shame until you've woken from a sugar coma naked, covered in 300 tiny candy wrappers. <laughs> and everyone at the airport has their phones out streaming you to Instagram. Thing is, I can't eat chocolate anymore because four years ago, my doctor diagnosed me with acid reflux disease and he gave me a long, depressing list of food and beverages I have to avoid. Sorry, Jeffrey, but no Coke, no Pepsi, no beer, no wine, no orange juice, no grapefruit, no pizza, no lasagna, no burritos, no gumbo, no chicken wings, no cheeseburgers, no chocolate, no mint, no chewing gum. Doc, if I can't eat that stuff, I should just end it all today. Okay, if you want, but no arsenic, no cyanide, no strychnine, no rat poison. I have a girlfriend. My apologies to everybody who just lost a bet. Wow, that joke got a bigger laugh than I was hoping for. Recently, a 33-year-old woman asked me out. She didn't know I had a girlfriend. And even if I weren't in a relationship, I wouldn't have gone out with her because 20 years is way too big of an age difference. Because at 33, she's in her romantic prime, and at 53, I'm in my Amazon prime. <laughs> My girlfriend is afraid I'm gonna leave her for a younger, prettier woman. That would never happen. I love her too much. I might leave her for a quieter, less critical woman. <laughs> if I go home with a woman half my age, it's to steal her hair care products. <laughs> No game. I'm at the age where uh, romance is less important to me than silence. <laughs> at 53, I, no offense ladies, but at 53, I like my women the way I like my coffee, with a lid on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Now, for those of you ladies who feel compelled to punch me and kick me after the show, you don't want to be known as a woman who beat the heck out of Ellen after a comedy show. <laughs> Hey, did you know that Drybar Comedy has its own app? Download it right now to watch, save, and share clips and watch my entire special.